couple of years ago, I saw a video by this guy named Ben Awad about how coding interviews are broken because they don't test potential software engineers on what they'll be doing on the job, but rather their algorithmic problem solving skills. Now I completely agree with this and wanted to make an update for 2022 about why this is still true based on my personal experiences. Now there were two companies that stood out to me this interview season that had actually pretty good interview systems and I'm not gonna name them because I'll be applying next year. These companies actually added some nuance to the whole hand me Elite Code Medium and watch me struggle for 30 minutes. Mostly because they were looking for skills like test driven development, system design, and critical thinking. Now most of the other companies had pretty terrible interview systems and I wanted to talk about which one stood out to me from those. To start us off, we have two startups that are valued in the low billions. One of them had just gotten acquired and basically what happened was they sent me an invitation through email to schedule a phone interview and when I responded to that email and scheduled an interview, within 30 minutes I think it was, I received a rejection email. Now I had no idea that these companies actually screen your emails, but I guess that my emailing skills are just not up to par with the top 1% of software engineers. Now my next complaint is with one of the biggest department stores in America. Now basically what happened was I did well on their hack rank assessment, they sent me a phone interview schedule, and what I didn't know is they were planning on sending me a take home project within 24 hours of my next interview to complete and talk about my solution during that interview. This was completely unclear from the email I received, I thought, and basically what ended up happening was that during midterms week, while I'm working full time and going to school, I received a project that would take at least three hours, if not more, and I just did not have time for this. Now, it just completely baffles me that this company expected me to drop everything I'm doing, completely disregard my midterms, disregard my work, and just do this take home project, which is essentially just free labor, just so that I could be potentially rejected within 24 hours of doing this project. I promptly responded to the email with this take home assignment, telling them that if they're expecting me to do free labor like this, that they could just stop the interview process. So the last company I'm gonna talk about is a pretty large clothing manufacturer and they make hoodies and um, hoodies and I think more hoodies. Now don't get me wrong, I love this clothing company just as much as the next guy and I think their jeans are super worth the money, but I really don't think their interview process is good at screening out the good software engineers from the bad ones. So first they sent me their hack rank, which I got a 100% on within the time limit. Then they sent me an invitation to schedule a phone interview. This phone interview would act as the behavior portion of the interview process. So it was time for the phone interview and I got online and honestly, I thought it went really well. I really vibed with the interviewer. I asked great questions and it just felt like we got along really well and it sounded like a great fit to be honest. So the next day comes along and I'm getting excited and then I get an email saying that I've been rejected. And the reason was the pretty typical, we decided to move on with better candidates. So usually maybe I would think, oh yeah, maybe it wasn't a good fit or like I said something wrong, something like just didn't click with the interviewer, or maybe I just didn't seem professional enough. But later on the CS Career Questions Discord, a bunch of people were talking about how they had the same exact experience. They were scheduled a phone interview, they thought it went great, it was behavioral only, and then they got flat out rejected the next day without reason. So I guess big hats off to this clothing company for developing a pretty sophisticated machine learning model to filter out candidates based on their behavioral performance. Hopefully I'm able to do better on it next year. But you know, now that I think about it, maybe it's because I wasn't wearing one of their hoodies.